the town of Cloud, though. I love my home here, and I love all my friends on the Cloudmobile. We, we love, love you too, Cloud Wendy! Wendy. And one of the things I love most about Cloudville is how we all love to smile, smile, smile! Oh. <gasps> Mac, what's the matter? Hmm. I've been Bradley's imaginary friend for two years, three days, and 12 minutes. Only he could see me. We had so much fun together, playing and figuring stuff out. But now, he has so many new human friends. Not much time for me anymore. Hmm. I know how you feel, Mac. It happens to all of us imaginary friends. Last time my human moved on, I was like, whoa! And then I was like, whoa! I remember. I'm sad too, but I'm also happy for Bradley. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Ooh, it's airmail from the Bureau of Imagination. <laughs> have a new friend for you. Who is it? Who? 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 It says they'll find me a new human friend in... One hour? One whole hour? That's, like, forever. And I'm not very good at waiting forever. Me neither. But we'll make it through this. We'll survive the waiting. We just need to do three simple things. Imagine! Plan! Create! Woohoo! I love when we do that. <laughs> Me too. Now let's imagine all the things you can do while you wait. You can go cloud surfing, hang riding, gumdrop picking. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go. Rainbow climbing, bubble blowing, puddle dancing, Ooh, yeah. jump rope jumping, yeah, yeah, yeah. leapfrogging with or without a frog, or doing 3,000 in one cartwheel. So, Mac, any of that work for you? Not sure, Izzy, but I made this great list with all these colors and columns and... <gasps> hey, you know what I like doing? Cloud surfing? Yes! No, <laughs> making lists! Oh, okay. Let's plan some list making. I'll need more paper, more pens. Ooh, something to list! I can come up with lots and lots of things you can do while waiting for your new human friend. And then you can add them to your list. Yes! Let's create the greatest list ever! Okay! You can do <gasps> ice cream mining, unicorn riding, bumblebee racing. Keep going. Uh. Uh. An airmail from the Bureau already? I thought we had to wait forever. We did, but we were having too much fun to notice. So who's your new human friend? His name's Nathaniel, and he has a hard time waiting for stuff too, just like me. Ooh, I better get going. Wait, don't you want to take your list? Don't need it, Izzy. I'm making a whole new with my new friend, Nathaniel. That's the fun part. See ya. <laughs> Bye, Mac. <laughs> I love your list. <laughs> ah, and I love Cloudville. Bedtime. <laughs> Comfy? Mm, yes. Izzy, were any of your human friends ever afraid of the dark? Oh, sure. Every imaginary friend's faced that problem. Hmm. Let me just get my fishing rod. Huh? Izzy? Ha-ha! <gasps> <gasps> wow, look how bright it is. A bucket of starlight for your friend Nathaniel, so he'll never have to be in ooky spooky darkness again. Here. Gotcha. Thanks. This is ridiculous. Oh, 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 o
Because it's so dark out here. I can't see anything. Oh, the stars are gone. I wanted to make a wish on a star, but there are no stars. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have fished all the stars out of the sky. I'll just throw them back. <laughs> What do we do? Three simple things. Imagine! Plan! Create! Let's imagine a way to get those stars back into space. Hmm. Escaping the gravitational force of Cloudville will require a huge amount of upward velocity and... A duck! <gasps> Excuse me? Two ducks? <laughs> I'm not sure ducks are going to help us. How about a magic elevator? Or a bunch of trampolines? Or a rocket ship? Or... Right! That's it! We need to build a rocket ship! Yes! Time to plan! Will this work? Hmm. How about this? Sure. Ah, this is the one. This is it! Why not? Now, let's create our rocket! Mission Control, prepare for countdown. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, oh. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 and a half, 2 and a quarter, 2 and we can't wait any longer, 2 and this is it now or never, and 1. It's never dark when there are stars in the sky. I can't wait to tell that to Nathaniel when he's afraid of the dark. There's always a star shining somewhere, so it's never completely dark. Yeah. Just look at how bright that star is. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Cloudville, we have a problem. <laughs> Izzy, is everything okay? Yeah, Mac. Why do you ask? It's just that... Uh... I feel great! <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Woo! Ah! Make that greatish? Or sort of good, but not really. It looks like you might have caught a cold. And when we imaginary friends get sick, it affects us... Well... Differently. <gasps> What happened to my head thingies? Does your human friend Claire have a cold? Yeah, she's sick in bed today. I'm afraid you have a kooky cold. Oh, what do I do? You just need to rest in bed. That'll cure it up in no time. But I need to go cheer up Claire. She'll need me. Yikes. Watch it. Woo! Hey, they really do swing, don't they? <laughs> I bet you I can make up some super fun swingy thingy games to cheer up my human friend. stuff is more tiring than I thought. <sighs> now will you get some rest? Yeah, I guess. Maybe we can figure out a way for you to rest and have some fun with three simple words. Imagine. Plan. Create. 
I love when we do that. Okay, let's imagine the most awesome bed ever. But you might need a little something extra. More pillows? More blankets? More soft toys? No. Maybe some hot chocolate? Woo! With marshmallows? Oh, I can do better than that. How about a whole bed made of marshmallows? Yes! Let's laugh! Don't worry, Izzy. I got this. And now, it's time to create. Almost done, Izzy. Okay, but I'm still not <sighs> sleepy. Whoa. I created the quietest, coziest, and most marshmallowiest bed you'd ever want. So what do you think? Izzy? Tell Claire how important it is to rest when you're sick. Because I feel great. Better than great. Never been greater great. That no one's ever felt as great as. Ah! Mac, you have a cookie cold. What are you doing up? Don't you know you need to get to bed? Come on, I'll help you. Thanks, Izzy. Oh, but first, let me show you all those super fun swingy thingy games I came up with. What? <laughs> Franco, that was our stop. Oh, ah. Sorry, forgot again. <laughs> Not a problem. Bye, Franco. Bye, Izzy. Bye, Mac. And don't forget to say goodbye to this Cloudmobile. Why? Where's it going? Out of service. Hmm? Well, these old Cloudmobiles get worn out by all those trips to the human world. So we make new ones and let folks here take the old ones. Ooh, I want a Cloudmobile. Me too. Well, I've already promised this one to a friend here in Cloudville, but... I can't seem to remember who. Was it Jackson? No. Carlos? No. Elizabeth? No. Walter? Vanessa? Malik? Yeah! <gasps> no. Oh. I'll remember eventually. In the meantime, you two can share it. Yes! yes! Now I'll be back later with its new owner. Whoever that is, see ya! Bye! Bye. See you later! I call Franz! Hmm. What an amazing day! Oh, I got the back. <laughs> Where are the... Yes, I got the controls. Aw, what a lousy day. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no fair. I really want to drive. Well, so do I. Franco told us to share. I remember. Hey, maybe we can both drive. Great idea. But it's going to take three simple words. Imagine. Imagine. Win. Create. Okay, let's imagine a way that we can both drive the Cloudmobile. Ooh, I know. We'll sit on top of each other. Or cut the Cloudmobile in half. Or I'll steer the vehicle, and then you steer me. Or we could have two sets of controls. One in the front and one in the back. Perfect. Time to plan. Okay, we'll need an extra steering doodad. Hmm. A make it move pedal. Might work. A blinker blonker for turns. Okay. And don't forget the ding ding dinger. Perfect. Now let's create a shareable cloud mobile. Yeah. We're ready to hit the cloud way. All right. Whoa. <laughs> 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 We're not getting any 
anywhere. This sharing stuff is so hard. Hey! Hmm? I just remembered who I promised that cloud mobile to. Sonia? Hello. Franco gave it to me so I can deliver my delicious cupcakes. <laughs> Wait. Are those two sets of controls? Yeah, we were sharing, but sometimes that's downright impossible. We'll fix the controls. Oh, I've got a much better plan. Okay, cupcake deliverers. When we go that way, Izzy drives, while Mac holds my cupcakes. And when we go the other way, I drive and Izzy holds the cupcakes. Yes! Whoever said sharing was so hard? You did, Izzy? Hello? Sharing's not hard. You just need to take turns. Now take it away, Izzy! <laughs> Everything okay, Mac? Yeah, I'm just trying to make a painting of that flower. Ooh, let me see. Where's the flower? The flower. Yeah, I think I kind of see what you're going for. Oh, my human friend Nathaniel is struggling to paint a flower. As his imaginary friend, I want to help. But all my flowers look like blobs. Why'd you call Sonia? I'm not making cupcakes here. I'm trying to make art. You'll see. Hey, Sonia! Mac needs your help. He's been painting blobs and... <gasps> sorry, flowers. And he's upset because they're not coming out right. Oh, I totally understand. You should see some of the things I've baked that came out, well, different than expected. Like my 59-layer cake. I only see two layers. <laughs> the other 57 fell off. Yikes! Yum! Hey, what's that? Oh, that's my extra light fly bread. Why do you call it that? Give it a sec. Oh. <laughs> I guess all those fly seeds really made it rise. Now how about some brownies that turn blue? Hmm. Yum! This bluey is amazing! Why, thank you. Some of my goodies may have unexpected qualities, but I never see any of them as mistakes. More like masterpieces in disguise. I better get going. I promised a lot of folks that I'd bring them some of my fresh baked blueies. I wish I could paint a flower as well as you bake a bluey. You can. You just need to start with three simple words. Yes. Imagine. Let's imagine all the kinds of flowers we can create. There's the one in the vase. Yeah, but would Sonia paint a plain old flower? Probably not. Let's funify it. Or simplify it. Or make it out of little dots. Yes, so many kinds of flowers. Let's plan. <laughs> And now, I shall create my flower. <laughs> and done. That's the most amazing flower ever. It's not just a flower, is it? It's a special brown dragon flower blowing fire. I love it! I can't wait to show Nathaniel how every piece of artwork is actually a masterpiece in disguise. What you gonna paint now, Mac? Hmm. I was thinking of painting you. Aw, that's sweet, Mac. Huh? Did you mean <gasps> you're painting me? <laughs> <laughs> Come here! Brr. It's too chilly 
out there today. Ah. And it's too messy in here. Hey, I was looking for that. Thanks for finding it, Mac. I didn't find it. I tripped over it. Notice any difference between my side of the room and yours? Yeah. You'll never find any of your toys by tripping over them. Oh, like this one. <laughs> <sighs> Izzy, I think it's time you clean up. Aw, you sound just like the parents of my human friend Claire. She'll do anything to avoid picking up her stuff, and so will I. Hey, let's make a fun game out of cleaning our room. Or what if I have my stuff pick up itself? Oh, I remember when you created that walking toy chest. <laughs> that a boy. Go, go, go! I suppose that could work. Of course it will. He's a good little chest. Hey, where'd he go? There he is! <laughs> Woo! Got him! Huh? Hello! <gasps> My chest! <laughs> Where'd you find him? A couple of clouds down. Uh. Ooh, I was looking for that. Thank you. <laughs> Keep an eye on that little fella. It's cold out here. Thanks for bringing him back. We'll never let him run off again. You're welcome. Bye, Sonia. Uh, is he? He's gone again, isn't he? Oh, we'll find him. We just need to use three simple words. Imagine. Win. Create. Let's imagine how we can find our runaway toy chest. I know. A bloodhound that sniffs out furniture on the run. A telescope that can look everywhere at once. Or a magic map that shows us where he is. Ooh. Hey, what if we stop trying to find the chest and make it find us instead? Hmm. Think about it. What does a toy chest walking around in bare feet really want in this cold weather? Balloons? A jump rope? <gasps> Ice cream! Okay, I'm out of ideas. Socks! His feet must be cold by now. We just have to let him know where he can find some. Great idea! Time to plan! Now let's create a way to bring that toy chest home. Okay! Wait, didn't I say that before? My human friend Claire is going to love my new game. Pretend your toy chest can walk and pick up all your toys. And don't forget the socks. I'll never forget my socks. What? <laughs> you're keeping my head warm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Izzy, what's with the cup? My human friend Claire loves apple juice. She'd drink it all day if she could, but her mom won't let her. That's probably a good idea. Still doesn't explain the cup. It's for the apple juice. <gasps> what? Izzy, have you been doing anything to mess with the weather? I just wanted to learn more about this juice, so I created a cloud. That rains apple juice. What? Mmm. <laughs> I could drink this stuff all day. But it's raining apple juice in our house. Mmm, that is delicious. Huh, is it? It's beginning to puddle. Oh, it's fine. As long as we have enough cups. Okay. I've got to go check out this cloud.
Uh oh. Imagine a way to stop this juice rain. A giant umbrella! That'll keep us dry, but it won't stop the flooding. Oh, how about extra large straws? So we can slurp it all up. Nope. Too much juice to drink. I know! A super freezer that turns all the juice rain into juice snow. So we can eat it instead. Like a massive snow cone! Urgh! Too cold. We'll get a massive brain freeze. But what do we do? Our staircase is filling up like a bathtub. That's it. What do you do with a bathtub? Splash in it. Play with my rubber ducky. Make bubble beards. No. Izzy, you drain it. <gasps> Good idea. Let's plan how to make a drain. Hmm, a plumbing wrench. Ooh, the adjustable gasket extractor. Ah, the reverse thingamajiggy. Ooh, nice plug. Be right back. Now I shall create the perfect way to drain our house. Quick, it's gonna overflow. Not a problem. Maybe a little problem. Nice work, Izzy. Thanks, but oh, I think I drank too much juice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Too much juice, or too much of anything. Will flood your house? Well, yeah, but it'll also give you a tummy ache. I totally understand why Claire's mom will let her drink so much juice. Wow, it's also really sticky when it rains all over you. Hmm, bath? With rubber duckies and bubble beards? <laughs> <laughs> 